Lazio beat Udinese 2-0, finally Lazio get back to the three points. Not a great performance from Lazio tonight, but what was important was winning uh, to keep Lazio in the fight for the Champions League, which is going to be really hard, but at least to the Europe League, which is still possible. Uh, for the first time, Lazio closed the match in the first half. Before, Casedo was really good in the first half and disappeared in the second half, and then an own goal. But what's concerning is what happened in the second half. Uh, Udinese looked to be already focused to next weekend, and instead Lazio disappeared. Uh, Udinese started pushing, started pressing much more than in the first half, and got a penalty. Again, another stupid penalty from Lazio. This time was Lulic that made a silly mistake. Last time was Patrick, then was Radu. Again, this is something I already talked about. Too many mistakes, too many silly penalties allowed from Lazio. If you want to fight for the Champions League, you cannot allow this to happen. And not so often. And again, it's not the same player every time. You know, Patrick today played, made a couple of mistakes, but nothing that bad. And then Lulic allowed penalty for, for Udinese. Uh, luckily for Lazio, Strakosha, who I think he's a great goalkeeper, made an incredible save at the penalty. And this allowed Lazio to win. Uh, Patrick Bowen said how, how long Lazio fan will uh, we become without Ciro Mobile. I don't think Ciro Mobile played badly today. I, I thought he didn't have that many chances, but let's not forget the first goal. It's a very good assist from Ciro Mobile to Casedo. As I said, Casedo disappeared in the second half, like pretty much all Lazio. I don't know if it's mentally or a physical problem, but uh, this, this can be a real problem for the next coming matches. Uh, then Inzaghi took off Casedo, who, as, as I said, disappeared and brought in uh, Badel and took back the ball possession. So Lazio pretty much controlled the last 20 minutes of the match. Uh, a little note, Bruno Jordao came in in the second half for Lucas Leva. Again, Bruno Jordao gave me the pressure to, to be a really good football player. Great ball skills. Uh, he's very young. So, you know, it looks to me that he's a very good, good football player. Why does he play so little? I really don't understand. Uh, if he's that good, I hope you know, Inzaghi gave him more chance, which he didn't in, in this season. So, but good performance from him. He didn't do nothing amazing, but you can see when he touched the ball that he's a real football player. So uh, let's hope to see him playing more in the, in the next uh, games. As I said, not an amazing Lazio, but three very important points. That's all that care tonight. Again, great performance from Sakosha. So three points that put Lazio back in the in the race, at least for the Europe League. And then this weekend, this Saturday, there's a match against Kievo. Leva won't be playing because he got another yellow card. But against Kievo at home, Lazio should look for another three points and to make you know the table much better for Lazio. Thank you again, guys.